What is up guys? My name is Ninja Gamer and today will be our very first subscriber suggested video. Adun R asked us to do a two racks Reaper Rush in our TVT battle. Next TVT battle and while we did try that, it was pretty unsuccessful. Uh, but we wanted to still do a double Rax Reaper attack and so this is going to be a Terran versus Zerg double Rax Reaper rush so let us know if you guys have any other strategies that you want us to try out and we will be doing them in a new series called something Sunday subscriber Sunday videos <laughs> I don't know uh, but yeah we're gonna go ahead and start off with a double racks to block off the entrance and I'm gonna go ahead and try to try to play with the tabs a little bit more uh, just to see what is going on <clears throat> We are now in Platinum mode in Archon and I am once again playing with my brother Tosh. So yeah, hopefully we can get to Diamond soon and we'll be creating some videos for the Road to Diamond. Um, funny to think that we started from Bronze. I guess it was maybe about half a year ago and so we have come a long way. So it looks like Zerg is going to go ahead and open with the standard uh, hatchery expo strategy. Uh, he is not getting uh, speed links yet. We're going to go ahead and block off the supply, block off this debris here with some supply depots. Uh, and we're starting to pump out um, double rat, double reaper here from two racks. Um. On the APM front, their APM is significantly higher at 280, an average of around 200, it looks like. And um, they're just getting their economy started here. Not much scouting from either side. We really don't know what the heck is going on. They don't really know what's happening. And we haven't really even scouted them at all. Looks like we're just about to go ahead and scout them right now. We do see the expo. See a couple queens, but that's about it. We got about four reapers now. And we're actually going to go all in on this reaper strategy. No upgrades here. Um, active forces. Production. I'm gonna go ahead and head out with five reapers. I will be controlling these reapers and he does look like he expects some attack to come our way but let's go ahead and see what happens here guys. I'm gonna go ahead and try to blow up that queen. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if my micros are micros that good but it's pretty fun here getting to throw all those bombs messing him up we are able to pick off some drones here and there more bombs going away killing a lot of drones so yeah this strategy is pretty effective if they don't have a Oh, a little bit of micro there. If they don't have a um, sunken colony or whatever you call those in Legacy of the Void, I'm referring to the original terminology from the very first StarCraft. And um, let's go ahead and see how much damage we did there. My control R isn't working, so I'm not able to see how many units I've killed. 
Uh, but I do think we have killed quite a bit. They've lost about 40 units and about 1400 resources and we really haven't lost many at all. So I think we are doing quite well here. And our APM is higher than them in this moment. I'm curious to know how many work units we killed but it's, it's not working. I'm sorry about that guys. Oh and he is able to catch us right here. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, and I think his speed link upgrade just finished, and that's why uh, that's why we were having some trouble dealing with uh, his zerglings right there at the end. But overall, I think that was quite a good uh, exchange there. We've killed 68 units, and he lost uh, around 2,300 resources. Um, he did go ahead and create a spire. Uh, which is not a bad strategy given that we were going have so heavily in uh, So heavily on Reapers, but I did I do feel like I was able to kill quite a few drones Until he was able to until he got that speed link upgrade uh, A couple more Reapers coming this way here And we're going to go ahead and try to take him out right now with a bunch of marines, SCVs, reapers. And we're just going to go ahead and try to end this right now. So let's go ahead and see how this goes. Big battle coming up right here. SCVs blocking the zerglings, taking down the, a couple of the mutalisks. We do have one uh, heli in here. And this Needlesk is gonna go down. He is gonna go ahead and try to make a sunken colony, but that's not gonna work. <laughs> and it looks like the double racks reaper strategy did work out this game. Um, so if you guys do have any other strategies that we would you would like for us to try, we'll go ahead and try to do them. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed that game, and please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing. And thank you again, Adun, for that suggestion. I'm sorry we weren't able to do it against the Terran, but maybe we'll try it once more against a, a Terran enemy, and we'll see how it goes. Hope you guys have started off with a wonderful New Year's, and I will be talking and seeing you guys very soon with hopefully more uploads. So... Uh, please stay tuned and talk to you guys later. Bye.